Hey, I'm Scott Stein, and you know what? I've been trying to get healthy. It's not that easy to do, but thankfully there's a lot of tech out there that is helpful. But it's a little bit arcane because you've probably heard about Fitbit, and there's other stuff like the Jawbone Up, and Wythings also has a lot of products too. There's a landscape of helpful, different types of devices that all kind of function similarly in their own ecosystem. And when it comes to pedometers, it's never been easier to track the steps that you take. There are pedometer apps on your phone, and there are standalone pedometers like the Fitbit, or um, one that you wear on your wrist, or uh, the new Wythings Pulse. Now Wythings has made wireless health tech and wired health tech for years now. They have a scale, they have a blood pressure monitor, and they now are getting into a very competitive little wearable pulse pulse and pedometer space. I say pulse and pedometer, I'll get that in a moment because that's the neat little trick that's in the pulse. It's not just a pedometer, it also has a little heart rate monitor right on the back that allows you to read your pulse at any time. Wything says that this is the smallest one in any device and you gotta think it's something that's smaller than an iPod shuffle. I haven't seen one in anything this small. It's helpful although I don't really need to check my standing or resting pulse rate that often. It also acts as a sleep monitor aid if you attach it to your wrist with the included strap and use built-in tracking software to find out how your sleep was that night. Now here's why I like using a standalone pedometer. The Wythings Pulse has a battery life that's about two weeks. Now after a week and a half I started getting a low battery warning on this but it still holds 24 hours of charge even when it seems like it's off and it stores multiple days worth of information. So if you wait a few days and then choose to sync it with your phone, all that data will be there. And because it's an interconnected series of, of products that Wythings has, and also a number of apps, including RunKeeper and, and others, um, you can choose to track your health in a lot of different ways and still find that you can use the Pulse with your system, which is one of the issues that it looks like they were beginning to have with these pedometers is that they all kind of work with their own little ecosystem of hardware. You still have to deal with the Wythings app to wirelessly sync this. In fact, you can't sync it via cable in any other way. So if you're a mobile person, this is the way to go. If you like a physical synced up connection to a computer, you might want to consider something else. But syncing via Bluetooth is very easy on the Pulse. You just press this top button, you hold for three seconds, and boom, it begins to sync the data down to your phone store it and also put it online where you can access it from any web browser. It also tells you the calories that it thinks you burned, although that's always relative, the distance you've walked, and it measures your steps taken against the marker that a lot of people use of 10,000 steps a day, um, which is you know, not everybody agrees with, but it's certainly a nice milestone to achieve, a bit of a game, and I found myself watching it and encouraging myself to take more steps while wearing it. Now wearing it is the thing. It's a beautiful design. I mean, this is like an Apple level type design. It's all sleek black. It's got an OLED display that only pops up and is visible uh, when you press the button. A little hard to see in direct sunlight. Uh, and it connects with micro USB over here. But if you want to wear it, you're stuck using a couple of options that are included with the purchase price, but feel a little bit rinky-dink. There's this rubberized clip, which works well, but I'd be worried about, you know, would it wear out over time? You pop it in and you put it on whatever. And there's also a Velcro armband that you use for night for sleep tracking. It actually um, has a little spot on the side where the um, pulse reader part will make contact with your wrist when you're sleeping. But this doesn't really feel ideal for working out at a gym. I don't think it would really, not, not be meant to be worn on your wrist because of that uh, pulse reader on the back. You wouldn't want to get that too sweaty. This is really meant to be tucked in your pocket or your bag and it's so small, you just might lose this thing. So I would prefer something like a, an even better clip or um, wearable wrist device that you could pop it into. But those are small quibbles. Other than that, I really like the Wythings Pulse. Now I'll admit, I have not used the Fitbit extensively. Uh, and so, you know, you look at that landscape and I'm sure people will have their, their preferences, but the complete set of features that the Pulse has, the ability to read your pulse on it, the price, which is $99, pretty competitive, and the app, which is pretty outstanding, add up to a really nice addition to an increasingly good health tech landscape for pedometers. So whatever you do, just make sure you get a pedometer in some way and just start walking. I'm Scott Stein, and that's a look at the Wythings Pulse, available now.